Welcome everyone. Thank you all for joining us this Saturday afternoon to celebrate the conclusion of the Environmental Education Collaborative Art and Writing Contest. This year's theme was Water and Justice. My name is Katie Porter and I'm Executive Director of Inlandia Institute, a literary and cultural arts nonprofit based in inland Southern California. And we are a proud partner for this contest. Before we begin, Inlandia Institute respectfully acknowledges and recognizes our responsibility to the original and current caretakers of this land, water, and air, the Cahuilla, Tongva, Luiseno, and Serrano peoples, and all of their ancestors and descendants, past, present, and future. Today, the Inlandia region is home to many indigenous peoples from all over the world, and we express our gratitude to them for allowing us the opportunity to live and work on these homelands. And now just a few housekeeping notes before we get started. We want you to know that closed captioning is available for this event via the CC icon on the lower part of your screen. Also, please note that this is a view only presentation and it is being recorded. If you are a winner, and if you would like to speak when we share your work on the screen or read from your winning entry, use the raise your hand reaction button at the bottom of your screen. And I will promote you to panelist so that you can be seen and heard. And if you don't want to speak, you don't have to, just don't raise your hand. If I see your hand raised, I'm going to um, assume that that means you do want to speak. Now, to introduce our winners, joining us is Jen Futterman. And uh, Jen is an EEC board member and the contest coordinator. So welcome, Jen. Thank you, Katie. Thank you for the lovely introduction and for honoring the ancestors of our lands. Um, welcome, everyone. We're so delighted to have you with us to honor the winners and you know we honor everyone that has participated in this contest this is our 18th annual environmental art contest in the uh inland empire so you know our region 10 we have all of san bernardino and riverside counties uh, represented here and we're just delighted to have you for this ceremony um, and without further ado we'll go into our winners all right. And this year is uh, water and justice, water justice. So we rotate the five elements every year. So this has um, been an important one, of course, water being the element that we all need so much to survive here. So we'll go first into our visual art, our kindergarten winner. We have Camden Fierro. Um, are you here with us, Camden? Would you like to say anything about your artwork? First, we'd love to congratulate you. What a wonderful piece you created. And um, you really have some big thoughts here. I don't see any hands raised. So it looks like Camden is not here with us right now. OK, well. We thank you, Camden, for this wonderful piece. Um, and we'll move into our next category. Uh, we didn't have a first grade entry, so we'll move right into second grade. And it looks like this is your brother, Camden. <laughs> uh, Brewer Fierro, are you here with us? I don't think the Fierros have joined us yet. I, I believe they did RSVP, but um, so maybe they'll be here later. Okay. Uh, well, absolutely every drop counts. And our third grade winner is Grace Vallejo Perez. Are you here with us? Uh, 
I do see a Vallejo in the audience, but I'm not sure that they are related. If you would like to speak, if you are from the family, please do use the raise your hand function and we'll bring you up. Okay. It doesn't appear so. Okay, well, so we move ahead. Moving ahead. Okay. Oh, we do have a hand. Oh, good. Oh, great. Okay. Um, here we go. Um, I think in order to be promoted to panels, you have to turn your camera on. So just make a, a mental note of that. Olivia? Hi. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, that's my daughter. I'm sorry, I was trying to connect and I didn't. Um, I had you guys on mute and. <laughs> uh, well, wonderful, Grace. I, um, no, I don't know how to turn on the video. That's okay, we can hear you. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to get my phone so I can record it so I can show my daughter. Oh, all right. Well, this is being recorded, so we'll send a link out after the fact too. So she's not with you right now? No, she's at her dad's house. Oh, too bad. Okay. Well, we're really glad that you're here. Thank you. I'm glad I can attend. <laughs> And we congratulate Grace um, for winning the best of the third grade visual art. And it looks like you have horses. Um, yes. That receive water on a daily basis. So that's good that, <laughs> um, that she's, you know, caretaking the horses. And I love what she said that, you know, horses are what she loves and water is love. So yes, that's what she picked. And she used her cell phone and she took the pictures. She was messing around with the um, mud actually first. And then she was like, huh, well, I give my horses water. So let me take pictures of me with my hands. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. I'm so excited for her. Oh, that's so Aww. beautiful. Well, I'm what, very I'm proud. Wondering. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you for coming on, Olivia, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm putting you back in the audience. So, but thank you. Okay, so, and we didn't have fourth or fifth grade. So here we move on to sixth grade. Um, Samuel Baron Marquez. Uh, we actually have, um, we have a tie, a three-way tie for sixth grade. Um, so Samuel, are you here? I don't see him in the audience. I don't see them in the audience. Okay. Um, but if you are or a, or a relative is here, please do raise your hand. Okay. Save water, save life is the message here. And you can uh, look into this a little more closely. All the good messages, good yeah. tips to save water. So. Um, that's our first of the sixth grade winners, and we have two more that have tied with you some well. Rafael Balmes. Um, this is a really interesting piece. Um, yeah, I don't see them in the audience. Okay. Whoops. Did you want to talk about this one at all, or do you want yeah, me to? Yeah, I would, I would like to, because I think part of this is uh, a really profound uh, image here of this dirty water. You know, it's not, you can see that it's not clean water. And so um, he wanted to share that this can connect to some kids who have no clean water to drink or bathe in. Yes. So that is connecting with water justice as well, because we all need access to clean water to live healthy and happy. We do. And it's something I think a lot of us take for granted, but not everybody has access to that. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, next, this is our third uh, winner in this sixth grade category, Silas Diaz. Are you here with us, Silas? I don't see Silas in the audience. 
Okay. Well, water justice for all. That pretty much says it all, <laughs> that we all need water. So um, thank you for all of your pieces and participation, sixth grade artists. Thanks. Now we also have um, a tie uh, for the best group collaboration. This one is from sixth grade um, at Nellie Kaufman Middle School out here in the desert. And this is the exploratory class collaboration. And um, I love this connection, water is life. Are you here with us, Karen, or any uh, participants from this group that would like to speak to this piece? Um, I see, let's see, I do see a Karen in the audience, but I don't know if it's the same person. It could be Karen Martin also. Who's oh, a, yes, also. that is, okay. So welcome, Karen Martin. And uh, so this is Karen Riley, who um, has the scrap gallery, student, uh, student creative recycled art projects. I believe the C is creative. Forgive me, Karen. <laughs> Um, but that's the acronym. So she has a wonderful group out here in the desert and provides supplies and art lessons to kids. Um, and it's all recycled art. So this is um, a beautiful example of how amazing it is when kids come together and how beautiful the art can be and how profound the message. So water is life, you know, has really been brought to life um, with Standing Rock and you know, water justice issues across this country um, and having access to clean water. And um, it looks like this lesson was really, you know, founded upon studying coral reefs, you know, um, and what they write is that some of the most diverse and valuable ecosystems on earth. Um, so they wanted to highlight that no matter where you live, what happens to our ocean affects us all, which is absolutely true. So we can feel those rippling effects. So thank you for this great piece, uh, exploratory class. All right. And here is our seventh grade winner, Amber Perez. Are you with us, Amber? Um, I don't see a hand, but just remember for any, any latecomers, Please uh, use the raise your hand function if this is your artwork and we'll um, allow you to speak. So this is another profound picture and just remembering that what we, you know, carelessly toss away can affect all those creatures in um, the watershed and in the ocean. So we have to be really careful about what we toss away. Straws have been banned in the desert here. I don't know about elsewhere, but um, you know, the plastic straws have proven to be a huge problem with the sea turtles and these other things that sometimes they eat as food and it's obviously not food. So um, thank you, Amber, for this beautiful piece. And here we are um, in our eighth grade category. Azalea Gambino, um, with your wonderful piece here that is just such a beautiful stream of consciousness of how you have interpreted water. Are you here to share about your piece, Azalea? I don't see Azalea in the audience, but if, if you are here, raise your hand. doesn't look like it. Well, I, I am glad that this will, this is recorded so that everyone can come through again and, you know, read through some of these, uh, the writing aspects is, um, it's very profound. It's, it's a beautiful, um, rather poetic exploration of, of water and, and what she thought about thinking about water. So come back and look at this. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. And here's our uh, second winning group collaboration. So we had two uh, collaborative pieces that won this, you know, our contest for group uh, collaboration. Anali Vargas and Catalina Tapania. Are either of you here to share? Let's see. I 
I don't see them in the audience, but I know this was a challenging day to get everybody together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, well, I love this. This artwork shows a clean and safe water environment. So, you know, we have some pieces showing, you know, the, the debris and, you know, what we don't want to see, dirty water, um, polluted water. And this is actually a depiction of what we do want to see. So um, not everyone has access to clean water, but when they do have a better chance of being happy, healthy, and safe, absolutely. Yes. Next, our best ninth grade piece. So Carolina Loera, you, dear Carolina, have won the ninth grade as well as um, one of our judges choice awards. So you're actually winning two awards and I wish we could blow this up a little bit. Um, oh, I think I can, let's see. Um, is, are you wanting to look at the yes, image? Yes, okay. written on her, on her top. It is, uh, it's so profound. Are you here with us, Carolina? You could read it to us if you're here. <laughs> Sorry, bouncing around. Um, I don't see Carolina in the audience, so apologies there, but. Okay, well, this message, water is a human right no matter who you are, which is exactly it, it is water justice in a nutshell. Okay. Thank you, Carolina, for your inspiring art piece that won not only ninth grade, but also one of our judges' choice awards. Okay. And give us just a moment while my computer figures out what it's doing. <laughs> Here we go. Um, and let me make it a little bit bigger again. All right. Well, Gavin Avery, you are winning um, our environmental art award for this contest. Um, are you here with us, Gavin? Okay. Nope. Um, so this is really a profound concept. Um, I think a lot of us judges that were viewing this um, were really affected by, by this concept. You know, first, the most wanted, um, resource perhaps because we can't live without clean water but also you know holding the people accountable the most wanted who are polluting the water um you know mm -hmm. most wanted are the crim criminals in this world so there's kind of a double entendre here with this and very profound you know our ninth grader here who really saw into this issue um in an yes. way absolutely most wanted thing needed to survive, absolutely. Yeah. Moving on to our 10th grade winner. So Ivan Matias, are you here with us, Ivan? Nope, not this time. Okay, well, you won best 10th grade. Save water, save earth. You know, it's true. Over 70% of the planet is water. So super important, important topic to talk about. Yes. And moving into the 11th grade. So here um, we actually have a tie for best 11th grade. Um, Sydney Young, this piece, you also have won the best recycled art piece. So, um, so you, you won two of our categories. Um, are you here with us, Sydney, to share about your piece? Ah, uh, yes. Me, oh, fantastic. Okay. okay, here they come. So unmute yourself. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, this piece, I really just wanted to show how kind of intertwined animals and plastic have become. And it kind of makes me very sad, so I wanted to try and kind of talk about it. You did an amazing job. I love the do better, right? That's <laughs> encouraging <laughs> all of our leaders um, to do something. Each one of us does our part. Um, 
a really profound piece, Sydney. So we congratulate you winning, you know, you were a tie for best 11th grade, but you also won best recycled art piece. So you'll be getting two prize awards for this one. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Great job. I love the mixed media uh, approach, all the different um, types of materials used. I think it's really neat. I love yeah, it. Awesome. The sculpting yeah. took a long time. You sculpted the, the octopus. You sculpted that. Yeah, it's 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 hand sculpted. Oh my goodness! Wow. Even yeah. better. And then all the recycled stuff around it. Mm -hmm. Very very cool. Well, yeah, thank you. Yeah, fantastic job. Congratulations. All right. well, thank Thanks you, Sydney. So I'm moving you back into the audience. So hold on. Okay. Oh, and we have a comment. Oh yeah, very nice. Thank you. Yes, we think so too. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Tyler Salas, you also won best of 11th grade. Are you here to share about your piece? I don't see Tyler in the audience, but again, um, raise your hand if you're here. Okay. Do you want to say anything before I move on? Oh, it's this one. I just, this really moved me, this piece. It's, I don't know. It's just very inspiring. It's, um, it sounds like Tyler was really inspired by nature here. And the, the reflection is gorgeous. I mean, right? it's very artistic. Very yeah. good eye for beauty. Yes, Tyler. absolutely. Okay, come on. Operate. There we go. Ah, was this the third three way tie? Um, this, oh, actually, Carlos, you won the Environmental Justice Award. So your 11th grade. Um, and this, I know, impressed many of us uh, with, you know, your understanding of the interconnection and, and honoring Flint, which, you know, is a location that uh, from my understanding still does not have clean water today, even after a long time of knowing that they don't have clean water, which is heartbreaking. So um, are you here with us, Carlos, to share? I don't see him in the audience. Okay, well, I'm just going to read this because this is our environmental justice winner, um, which is, you know, we have water and water justice. And he wrote, uh, my art shows how much we need to open our eyes and realize how important water justice needs to be seen. My art also shows our cry for help in this world, we need a change. I have a couple of other paintings that show what we have before it becomes what we had which is a really profound concept of knowing like how amazing and diverse our beautiful earth is and what we're losing by not taking care. Um, so I love this piece. It, it just, there's, there's so many different aspects to it and um, ultimately save water and protect water, becoming water protectors so that we all have clean water. Thank you, Carlos. And now into the best of 12th grade. Um, so we have another, I think we have a tie here, Layla Bogdan. Um, this piece is just so beautiful, Layla. Are you here to share about it? I don't think, I don't think they are, but okay. Well, the water on the ground is being used as a reflective surface. The water reflects the tree. Trees need water to live and the water that is used in the photo is needed to see the tree. So that's just a puddle, which is incredible, right? To see mm. this tree reflected. And it's just yeah. so beautiful, um, but profound as well in the meaning. So thank you, Layla. Yes, and good eye for seeing that you know, a lot of people would just walk past that as right. you know, a puddle, <laughs> finding the beauty in the everyday and capturing what you did. Okay. Uh, and here we have Evan Smith. Um, 
So 12th grade artist as well. Um, you won the best artist with special needs. And this piece uh, brought me to tears. So um, are you here with us to share about your art, Evan? Yeah, I do see you in the audience, Evan. Would you like to speak? If so, raise your hand and we'll um, bring you up so you can say something. Okay, wonderful. Should be it just a second. Okay. Welcome, Evan. Unmute. Um, hi, can everyone hear me? Yes, we can yes. hear you. Um, so at my school, I entered this in ninth grade, um, my ninth grade year, and I'm a senior, so it was fun entering it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to touch on the fact that, you know, while I'm with water, it feels like I'm at peace and stuff like that. So so not only is it like a necessity to live, but it's in like um, also a resource for like mental health and stuff. Indeed it is. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we love your piece. Thank you so much for sharing it with us and um, happy to give you, um, yeah, this is, you'll get actually a bonus for oh. this category. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank and you, you very can much. still participate next year as a college student or adult. So please keep sharing your art with us. Definitely will. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you, Evan. And let's see. Here we go. All right. So here we are, Ruby Palomino. You tied for best 12th grade. Are you here with us to share about your piece? I don't see Ruby in the audience unless um, they have a different name. So I'm gonna say no. Okay, well, I'll just read a little bit about what she wrote. The meaning of this artwork is showing that the woman is happy with the rain falling. It is a reflection of a dirty environment showing bad chemicals and rotten plastic coming down from the sky. The toxic gas, bad pollution is killing the environment and the woman is holding a water bottle comparing the clean water to the dirtiness surrounding her. The main meaning of this artwork is to show that if you take care of the world, you can have a clean, nice uh, place. But if you don't, then you can suffer from how bad air can really mess with your immune system and shut down your system completely. So really profound. Thank you for your art, Ruby. Yes. Okay. And here is our best college student entry, Malia Miguel. Are you here with us? Oh, I think Malia is here. Wonderful. Malia, would you like to speak? Raise your hand if you would. And you have to raise, yeah, there you go with the reaction button. So bringing you on screen. Okay, so welcome Malia, if you could unmute and you're welcome to turn your camera on if you'd like. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Pretty ladybug. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to share anything about this piece? Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Hello. hello. Nice to see your face. <laughs> well, uh, I was inspired by um, water being available. Just uh, as it says in my little paragraph, um, just how important it is in nature and also for it being available in people's houses. Mm -hmm. True. Water is life. I love this image. It would make a really great poster. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I think the composition is really nice and the colors are great in I addition to the theme. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing a little bit. Congratulations for winning. Thank you. 
All right, I'm moving you back to the audience, okay? And okay, now we're into the adults. So we have a tie for best adult art, visual art. Karen Martin, I think you're here with us. We'd love to have you come on. What a beautiful piece you made. Here we are. Welcome, Karen, and uh, feel free to unmute and turn on your camera if you would like. Mute. Hi. 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 Um, first off, before I talk about the piece, I would love to say thank you um, to uh, you guys doing this type of art for everybody. Each year, I kind of base a lesson on it. And um, our, I have a lot of kids like Evan is one of my one of my students and Evan's won a couple of years because we've actually done art pieces. And this year I have to I have to say Evan wasn't even one of my students and he participated. He didn't have an art class. So it's just how your legacy continues and they learn about different environments of art. Um, um, in my class, like I said, I show the Flint Ridge video, I show videos of water issues, and then we go into a project from there. So I appreciate you guys being able to give us environmental art. So <laughs> um, basically, this piece is just about a piece that kind of what it says that how water, um, the importance of water how it's everywhere around us, and how well we need it to survive. May, we may not recognize it, but it is part of our life. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's beautiful. Thank you. Love it. And thank you for promoting the contest with your students and for entering yourself. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we love we love seeing your art, Karen, and all of your students. It's always such a treat to get to see what has come out of your classes. So thank you for making it a part of your curriculum. You know, that's that's what we hoped, you know. So hopefully we can grow this contest and you know share it with more and more teachers as well to you know that was that was the intention and in, in part of this you know so that we get it into classrooms so yeah <laughs> thank, you so much. thank you karen i'm going to put you back in the audience and see you in a bit Let's see and Okay. Um, so our tie for best adult is Barbara uh, Boisevin. I'm not sure how to say your name. I apologize, but if you're here, you could correct me. I don't see her in the audience. Um, okay. Okay. I thought this was very um, an interesting uh, compilation collage of these different salt pond images. It sounds like it's a series. Um, so there's more. Oh. And it is, it's so beautiful. It's, um, I didn't quite know what it was when I first looked at it, which I love when you have to actually think about <laughs> what something is. Okay, now we get into the writing submissions. Oh, perfect. Whoops. Okay, so here we so, go. <clears throat> our best uh, seventh grade is Marley Dakota. Are you here with us to share and perhaps read your submission to us? I don't see Marley in the audience. Um, Oh, okay. Okay. Well, um, do we want to read it or do we want to let, um, is there a way for others to be able to read these pieces later? We do have this all on the EEC website. So we will have it up um, for viewing at, you know, 
at some at some point. Um, I am not sure what has happened, and my screen has minimized, and I can't quite uh -oh. pull it back. So I'm not um, able to blow it up to read it. I don't know. Oh, I could read it, or okay. I could blow it up again. So okay, okay. So this is get it one more mission there's a lot of little it's illustrated which is interesting you can see all of the um, illustrations around the edges and it looks like pollution in the ocean and a little octopus up in there with holding a, a flag um, and it says mission failed swimming down the ocean floor there is no home for us no more we take their land, leaving our home in rubbish. The smoke, it rises, how the clouds used to flow, but now all we see are dirty ash. Now the grass is turning blue. Was it ever green? No, the sun never sets, or does it? We wouldn't know past the smoke. Thousands of satellites, a roam blocking out escape to the moon oh our moon all broken my dear mars i'm sorry we trashed you mission failed please retreat oh retreat how could we know this would happen mission failed mission failed mission failed so this is i think a future where um we're imagining what might happen if we remain on the trajectory that we're on and continue to um, take our planet and perhaps our our mission our colonies on mars even for granted we've destroyed the moon and we've destroyed the planet because we haven't taken care yes let's see so not this one um now, I believe Shreya is here. Oh, good. Shreya, are you here to read your piece for us? That would be wonderful. You are. Here she comes. The best eighth grade literary artist winner. Welcome, Shreya. You're welcome to turn the camera on. Um, uh... You don't have to. It's okay. No, it's okay. Um, uh... So I wrote this piece as fiction and I haven't wrote anything in a while. I've been lacking some motivation after quarantine. But when I heard about this contest and I heard about water, I was like, I have to, it's environmental justice. That's something I care about a lot, so, yeah. Perfect, well, we loved your piece. Um, it was the only, kind of fictional piece that we had, I think this year, and it was really profound. So you're welcome to read it. Um, or if you oh, want thank to you. I could, uh, could you send the link in the chat? Sure, you can do that. Let me, um, okay, so it should be in the chat now. Um, but I could also share the screen if you'd like to read it off the screen. Okay. okay. All right. Um, so. Rashmi woke up feeling anxious on the day that Philly died. She had only moved to the town a month ago, but her routine was set. For work, she walked Philly along the river, and at home, she watched the sunset from her balcony. That morning, everything seemed sweeter with the air of spring, but Rashmi was preoccupied with the tension of a presentation later in the day. The preparation had taken longer than usual and her eyes drooped after only four hours of sleep. She did not notice her dog, her best friend for the past six years, swallow plastic while drinking from the river. In the following two months, Rashmi stopped going for walks. She drowned herself in work, taking on more than ever before. The first time she felt well enough to go out in town again was on the 4th of July in search of a place to watch the fireworks. Curiously, while looking, she saw a group of children no older than 12, and their parents. With white trash bags in hand, they were picking up trash near a pond. There was a dog with them, laying nearby in the grass. She watched their efforts, her own long forgotten. Rashmi noticed the kids frequently from then on. 
More than seeing them, she felt their impact. The pond was cleaner and the creek no longer carried an assortment of debris. On the first Saturday of September, she saw them heading somewhere from her balcony. In a moment of spontaneity, she grabbed a trash bag and went after them. By the time she reached the group, a host of worries plagued her, but a kind mother offered her gloves. When the woman introduced herself as Sarah, the anxiety slowly disappeared. As September dragged on, Rashmi noticed others like her come out to help. A girl with blue hair and matching eyeliner, an old man, and some teenagers doing community service were all welcome additions. Each weekend, their odd crew would tackle one place, but for larger areas, the work was divided over a few weeks. Rashmi learned the dog she saw on the 4th of July was owned by the lady who had offered her gloves. For the first time since it happened, she told these people, her friends, the story of how her own dog died. Rashmi gathered strength as she walked down the once familiar path to the dark blue waters. She felt tears sting the corner of her eyes as she looked around. The river looked like it had when she first moved here, unchanging, though she stopped coming. However, as she assessed, she observed far more litter than she had in the past. With plastic bottles, cans, and bags in clear view, she knew what had to be done. When Rashmi approached her group, determination overshadowed pain. Sarah hugged her in a show of support. For Philly, she murmured. Rashmi smiled before replying, for Philly. Thank you so much for sharing that. So beautiful, thank you. All right. Very well, moving. I'm going to put you back in the audience for now. And thank you, Shreya. I know we'll thank see you Thank you again. so much for hosting the competition. Of course, you're, you're very welcome. Yeah, and can't wait to see your piece next year. So we'll look out for you. Oops. Okay. So our best ninth grade writing piece uh, goes to Alessandra Pimentel. Are you here with us? Let's see. I don't see, see them in the audience. Um, so just to confirm, they are going to be on the, the primary website later. Okay. I did drop that link into the chat. Um, so I don't know if we wanted to read this aloud or if, if, if what you would prefer to do. Well, click the link. Let me remember. Um, okay. Oh. Here, I don't know if you can see it, but why don't I do a share screen for this so you can see the shape of it too. Yes, so this okay. is a poem. Mm -hmm. Here. And it, yeah, it's an interesting shape, shape poem. And uh, the ripples. The water we bleed, we are made out of, we are born from, Yet us beings choose to betray it. These insatiable desires we possess to hog those streams, wetlands, and rivers, making it solemnly ours and to never share as the periphery can perish and the core thrives. Even with water being a large portion of our tattered small world, no unity can be found within it. Every individual is divided by this proposal of dominance destruction of forests, arable land, natural habitats, constructing this vast new world of buildings, factories, and homes, where water seems to be the least of our worries. You, the water we bleed, we are made out of, we are born from, the reason we live and survive. However, not all of us can find our way to it. That's where we worry. Where is the water when we need it? when millions of humans are parched and just hoping for a drop of water. That's when we place the liability on you, not letting our selfishness define us for the cruel people we are. Where is our unity? The unity from the time when our run water used to roam freely everywhere in our streams, down our villages, times when listening to the ripples of water was peace. And now we just listen to the crinkles of trash no matter how much the water on the surface aids us, we never seem to repay it. Mm. So, it's 
very profound and very true. Mm, absolutely. Okay. So let's, let's see. So 11th grade? That's 11th grade. So Alisa, it looks like that's uh, what you like to go by. Um, you have won best 11th grade um, as well as a judge's choice award. Are you here to share about your piece, A Question of Love? I don't see Elisa in the audience. Um, but if you're here, definitely um, raise your hand. Let's go ahead, we can take a look at it and I'm going to hop over to that. And how long is this? Oh, this one's pretty long. So maybe we can just look at the, the opening stanza. Sure. Had never been a question of love, this water flowed through the aqueduct of the ancient Romans through Aztec, Chinampas, Mesopotamian fields, low countries, marshes, transformed into the drops of life that enter our mind as absently and as invasively as it did yesterday. So we'll um, send out a notification when these are all available to read in full online. Um, I know Elisa and Sharia and there may be others um, have been involved with Inlandia's teen issue of the online literary journal. So one way or another, we will make sure that these are um, available for people to, to read in full. Right. Okay. And we move into our adult uh, category, James, oh, well, first, uh, Heather, actually, she's an adult winner. She won the Judges Choice Award. So um, are you here, Heather? Let me see. I don't see Heather in the audience. But um, yeah, let's go ahead. We'll pull this one up again and let's see. Poem. And... Okay, well, Heather, if, if you're here and you want to read this, let us know, um, but I don't see you in the audience. This isn't too long, so I'll see if I can read this so everyone gets a sense. The water is in us. The water is in us and we cannot live without. Each parched cell begs us, no poison, no drought. The water moistens the tongue that speaks the truth. The water wets the cheeks of the kids at play. The tears wet the cheeks of the parents who wonder if it will be okay. The water grows the food that feeds the masses. The water wets the cheeks of the kids at play. The tears wet the cheeks of the parents who wonder if it will be okay. The water muddled by corporate greed. The water oil slicked for freight speed. The water littered with the microplastics of our consumption. These are the waters we have and not the waters we need. Let water be water. Let water be clear. Let water be near and free. To every community, human flora and fauna, we are water within and cannot do without. So no corporate poison, no man-made drought. Yeah, there's a lot packed in there. Very much so. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Heather. Thank you, Heather. And James Coates is our adult winner of the Literary Art Contest. And James, I do see you are here. Would you like me to bring you on screen to share your poem? Oh. Here we go. Okay. Bringing you up. Glad you were able to make it, James. Mm 
Hi there. Hey. Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm at the park right now, but uh, I have the phone. So um, it's interesting that so many people wrote about water um, in, in the competition or the contest. Um, I have poems on other stuff like the, the reef and um, trees and stuff. Um, but this one was important to me because uh, I wrote it about uh, indigenous water protectors and how they view um, water. So it's called Go, 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 find water, find life in the water, in the ground, in yourself. Find it here, in you, in your origin, in the formation of your beginning. Lift the water into you, so what pours out quenches a thirst we all have been longing for. Is water not freedom? And as such, your liberation, are you not the vessel, your state ever changing, existence everlasting? When your spirit soars like vapor out of reach, does your essence surge into the ground? Are you not fluid to anything? Flood, swift and impending, glacier solid and unmovable, create life in yourself, a redemption, a new world in your reflection, in balance, a true way of life. Mold a reality that where difference is honored. Here, water is not only water, water is life we all need. You, you find the fear in the ground, in yourself, find life. Thank you, James. And thank you for for being here in spite of uh sounds like you're you're at a park and there's some wind but it's great to hear your voice well so um okay we do have tyler salas who has uh come on and I'm not sure if, if you'd like to say a little bit about your piece. You tied for best 11th grade art, the visual art contest. So if, if you'd like to share, you can raise your hand and Katie will bring you on to talk to us. And maybe we can scroll back up to see your piece if, if you want to share about it. Yeah, for sure. Raise your hand, Tyler, and I will bring you on screen. Or we can just allow you to speak. If you don't want to turn the camera on it, you have to use the raise your hand reaction button on the screen because we can't see you if you're actually raising your hand. So at the bottom edge of the screen, um, there are a bunch of things that you can choose from and one is raise your hand. Yeah. Here. I'm just Tyler, I'm going to click the allow to talk button if you want to say anything. See, you just unmute yourself and you can say anything about your piece. And I'm going to click back over there. Let's see. If you see it, stop me. Let's see. It looks like Tyler's still on mute. It may be that he can't speak where he is. Here. Okay. No problem, Tyler. But if you wanted to put anything in the chat, you're welcome to. We're just glad you're here. And this was uh, your winning piece. Yeah, we loved your piece, Tyler. So really beautiful. Um, that reflection and just that you had captured it in that moment that you were moved by it. It's, um, it's beautiful. So thank you for sharing. Okay. 
And I think that concludes um, our 2022 art contest. Yeah. Let me. Um, sorry, I'm trying to do a little bit on my end of the tech. Okay. So was that the last one was with James and that was the last of our literary art and we did not have any videos submissions this year so you know everyone know that if you're inspired you could do a video piece if if that's something that you like to do um so that could be any kind of performance art piece for next year so we have the three different um ways to express you know uh I am not 100% sure what our next element is. Um, I believe it is earth. So, I mean, that's going to <laughs> open it up a lot because, you know, with earth element, we've got <laughs> um, a lot that can inspire you and that you can share with us. So, you know, think about that from now until 2023. If um, I am almost sure just because we started with water in 2005 and we've come this far in 2022, 18 years later to um, our art contest where we have the visual arts, literary arts and performing arts um, that you share in a video. So think about that. It will be due in May next year. So we'll announce it hopefully in January. And, you know, if if you want to reach out to us and communicate in the meantime, we'd love to hear from you. We thank you so much for your art entries, your participation, for being with us today. Um, and we, we celebrate all of you. And if you are here and you didn't win a prize, we still appreciate your art and we loved it. And we hope that you have an entry next year. So yeah. there's always an opportunity, even if you're in 12th grade, we had a college student win this year. We have adult category. So you are always welcome to participate whenever you're inspired. So um, if you want to learn any more about either of our organizations in Landia Institute or the Environmental Education Collaborative, the links are in the chat. The um, works will be online. And so for more programs like this and others and to stay in touch for next year's contest, please do like and follow us on social media and check out our websites. Um, Jen, just a question for our prize winners. Do, you, do we have um, mailing addresses? How are you going to be reaching out with prize, prizes? We do have everyone's mailing address and you will be receiving gift card, a gift card. Those of you that won a couple of categories, you'll get two. So um, you'll be getting those you know, in the next couple of weeks. So um, look out for that. I would say probably the first week of July, something like that. So in a couple of weeks from now, um, you'll be getting your prizes. So um, you're all winners in our eyes. Um, thank you so much for your participation and, you know, look forward to seeing you next year. Yeah. Is there anybody else we should be thanking um, who's responsible for the prizes? Yes, let's give a, a huge shout out to the Palm Springs Sustainability Commission. So that um, is our sponsor this year for all of our prizes. Wonderful. Well, thank you to them. And thank you, Jen. And thank you uh, to everybody involved with the contest and our judges and all of our contestants, whether you, you're all winners in our eyes. So and just keep uh, doing what you can to um, maintain sustainability and I know we're in a drought again um, water is precious so do what you can and water thank you. precious water is life yes exactly thank you <laughs> all right well we'll see each other again uh, in the future have a wonderful rest of your weekend and thank you Katie for hosting and Inlandia Institute mm -hmm. likewise okay. good night <laughs>